Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us start the program with the main affairs of the day. During the high season, there is collection of 60,000 liters of milk, but now there's only 30,000 liters of milk. Each cooperative now has to run at least one farm. The Eastern Sugar Mill indicates that it has produced 1,60,076 quintal of sugar this year and much more. Let us start the program with the affairs of the dairy in the market. Milk being one of the most important diet for the human beings is now a very organized business. There are government-owned dairies and privately-owned dairies. These dairies collect the milk from the farmers and provide it to the public. This system is very efficient since it removes the need to find milk for everyday use. It is found that this season there is less collection of milk. Only half of the amount which is collected in the high season is gathered at the moment in the market. Also, the ban in the import of powder milk is causing shortage of milk. During the high season, there's collection of 60,000 liters of milk, but now there's only 30,000 liters of milk. Let us look at this report for a little while. The Milk Development Corporation collected 60,000 liters of milk per day during the high season. Right now, there is only 30,000 liters daily. The private dairies are buying a large amount of milk from the farmers. This is why the corporate could not collect the milk. The corporate informs that there is less collection of milk due to the fact that there is less milk production at this time of the year. Since the government has put up a ban on import of powder milk, the private dairies are buying more milk through the farmers. Whereas in the governmental corporation, the collection has gone down. According to Biratnagar Collection Center, there is daily collection of 30,000 liters of milk now. The project has been collecting the milk from Ilam, Pastar, Dhankuta, Tirathum, Chapa, Morang, and Sunsari. There is 60,000 liters of milk collection from Ashwin to Fagun, but it is less at this season. The officials say that there is collection of 1 lakh liters of milk daily in state 1. Among the 1 lakh liters, 70,000 liters are collected by the private dairy. Though there is a fixed criteria for the collection of milk, the private dairy collect the milk giving different rates. The corporation has been giving the farmers 36 to 48 rupees per liter in accordance to the presence of fat and SNF. After the report on dairy, let us now talk about the affairs of cooperative-run farms. Cooperatives give services to the people. They make the everyday work easy and efficient for their customers. There are many cooperatives in Nepal. The government wants the cooperatives to run farms. By running systematic farms, the poverty of the country can be removed. The program of running a farm by cooperative can help the government to achieve the goal of producing double. Each cooperative now has to run at least one farm. Let us look at this report for a little while. There is a provision of having to run at least one farm by each cooperative. This system is put forward by the government. The Land Cooperative and Poverty Alleviation Ministry has directed to the cooperatives to run at least one farm in the local area. From the government side, for those who take loans for agriculture, there will be no interest. This is to motivate the farmers. A source indicates that government is moving forward with the thought of doing something new in the cooperative sector. In the land scenario, the land revenue office has been digitalized. This means that the land cannot be confiscated by anyone. The government is saying that all the description of the land will be taken and the residents will be improved. Also, the people with land and houses are living unsystematically. There will be strict monitoring of residences. The government is preparing to give free residences to the homeless. For those who are living unsystematically, even though when they have land and houses, there's provision of having to pay to the government for the residents. After the report on cooperatives, let us look at the affairs of the sugar. Sugar industry makes the most commotion in the market. Sugar business is not so sweet. The farmers produce the sugar cane and the industrialists buy the sugar cane. 
then the industrialists do not give the money and the farmers suffer. Well, the Eastern Sugar Mill has stopped this chain of history. The mill has paid the farmers, but the government has not paid. The Eastern Sugar Mill indicates that it has produced 1,6076 quintal of sugar this year. Let us look at this report for a little while. The Eastern Sugar Mill Sunsari had purchased sugar cane from 3,000 farmers. The mill had purchased 11,78,625 quintal of sugar cane. The sugar cane was brought from Sunsari, Morang, and Japa. Mill manager Shuresh Mehata informs that the mill paid 400 41 rupees 28 paisa for one quintal of sugar cane. Total of 52 crore 1 lakh 3,540 rupees was paid to the farmers. Last year, the government had fixed the price at the rate of 506 rupees 28 paisa per quintal. Among this, the government was going to bear 65 rupees per quintal. The farmers are paid by the mill and the amount the government is supposed to pay the farmers is not paid yet. The sugar cane is Nepali cash crop. It is grown in 5,000 bigga of land in Sunsari and Morang. The mill official indicate that this year there has been purchase of 10,000 quintal of sugar cane from Chapa. After the report on sugar, let us now talk about the affairs of fishery pocket zone. Fish is considered food even in the Bible. Fish has omega-3, which is good for the heart. So those who enjoy non-vegetarian food can reap benefit from dining on fish. Nepali South is becoming the hub of fish production due to the low land and lot of water. The representative who initiated fishery pocket zone says that there will be no development in the country without the development of agriculture. The member representative has said that without the development of agriculture, it is not possible to develop other sectors. Let us look at this report for a little while. The member of representative assembly, Kansham Bushal from state three said that it is not possible to develop other sectors without the development of agriculture. The representative spoke in the program organized by Chapia VDC. He said that with agriculture, industrial production and market develops. He said that the developed countries have gone forward through agriculture. He said that we should first start farms. He also said that the habit of doing agriculture only for subsidies should be stopped. <laughs> He said that the government is giving emphasis in modernization of agriculture. According to the emphasis, there are programs running. Representative Vushal said that the area which was initiated as fishery zone is now converted into fishery super zone. He said to make it sustainable is obligation of the locals. Chapia area is known as the capital of fish production. The businessmen are saying that the tourists are increasing in the area to taste the fish from here. The participants of the program said that there should be more production and the fish should be processed and packed into different delicacies. Representative Vushal informed that the Nepal economy is becoming better. Nepal is becoming fish and meat independent. This is a happy indication. The Prime Minister Agriculture Modernization Program Fishery Super Zone Chair Ganesh Bahadur Shahi presented a paper on his two years of work. After after the report on fishery, let us now talk about the affairs of the dairy price. In the market, the price of the raw materials have increased, so the farmers are saying the production of cost of milk has increased. This is why there was workforce organized to study the market and decide on the price of the milk. Now the price of this milk has been established. There's increase of milk price from today. In the instruction of the government, the DDC has increased the price of the milk after two years. Let us look at this report for a little while. On Thursday, 
there has been decision to increase the price of the milk by 10 rupees per liter, informs the corporation. According to the DDC, the farmers cannot get back the production costs due to the increase in price of feed. The Agriculture Ministry indicates that Minister Chakrapani Kanal has accepted the file for increase of milk price. Though the file is accepted, there has been no meeting held, informs the source. According to the Milk Development Corporation, among the increased milk price, 69% will go to the farmers and 31% will go to the dairy cooperatives. The increased price is implemented from Saturday, informs the DDC. Before this, the farmers were pressurizing to increase the price of the milk, saying that the production cost has increased. After the pressure, the Agriculture Ministry and Milk Development Organization had established a workforce. In accordance to the report of the workforce, the new price has been established. After the report on dairy price, let us now talk about the examination of the vegetables. The 20th century was golden century in the development of agriculture. In order to feed the hungry world, the scientists had created pesticides. The 21st century is fighting the damage done by the inventions of 20th century. Nepali government is examining the vegetables for pesticide remains. Vegetables are a very important part of human diet. Through vegetables, we get vitamins and minerals, which are needed for the functioning of the body. We can remain healthy through only organic vegetables. The federal government is going to examine the pesticides in the vegetables. Let us look at this report for a little while. The food Technique and Quality Control Division and Branch Offices of Federal Government are going to examine the vegetables. The Central Agriculture Laboratory informs that the Federal Government has instructed to examine the pesticides in the vegetables. This instruction is given to the Food Technique and Quality Control Division. The division indicates that after some time, the offices in all the seven states will be testing for pesticides. The laboratory of the State 1 government is going to examine the the vegetables itself. The Food Technology and Quality Control Office in Biratnagar has indicated that it is doing homework in collaboration with Industry, Distribution and Supply Ministry. According to the office, there is availability of specialists, qualification and technology in the office. It is why the office is carrying out pesticide examination. The Pesticide Remains Quick Analysis Laboratory has been working for one month, but this laboratory is not very effective. This laboratory which has been working since the 25th of Ashar, has examined only 49 samples till 11th of Vadra. Since the Federal Agriculture, Animals and Bird Development Ministry has not given the place for this laboratory, the costume is not willing to send the tested vegetables and food. The laboratory is running under Land Management, Agriculture and Cooperative Ministry of State 1. After the report on pesticides, let us now talk about the affairs of Forest Ministry. Forests are very important for the health of the human beings. The forest absorbs the carbon dioxide and converts it into oxygen. This means it keeps the air clean. Not only this, the forest keeps the soil together and causes rain to fall. For high quality of life, we need to live where there is large amount of fresh oxygen. Right now, the forest ministry is working on cleaning the environment through classifying the garbage. We can help by separating rotting and non-rotting garbage at home. There is serious work being done to clean the environment. Let us look at this report for a little while. The Forest and Environment Minister Shakti Bahadur Basnit says that there is a sustainable cleaning of environment which is put forward. Minister informed this in the answer to the question raised in the meeting held on Wednesday in Assembly of Representatives. He also informed that there is categorization of garbage. The rotting garbage and other garbage are separated and processed to use them in different work. Minister Basnet informed that the ministry is putting the work of protecting Chure forward. How long the work on Chure will take has not been estimated. Due to this, there are problems time and again. He informed that the local and the state government will collaborate to work to control the forest fires. Samasyaru, 
I mean, no one ever was Samadan Gordi Jamla, or Oily Dikika Samasi Arulai. I mean, the Samadan Gordi Dongali, Karakram Haruku, Shuruad, where you go. So, this is like a Niranter, Procriaco or Tomopuni Grand Gonopola, Yakura, Royo Niranter, Solidoni Uta, Procria or Tomopuni Buznu Borla. Tora, yes, like I mean, Oily Dikika Samasi Haruku, Nivaran Mane, Jatisho, Chutu Gorne Dongali, Ottawa, other Tibrogotica Sad Gorne Dongali. In the meeting, Industrial Bill 2075 was passed. This bill was put forward by Industry, Distribution, Labor and Consumer Welfare Committee. In the meeting, Secretary Gopal Nath Yogi gave a message about the need of education bill correction. Also, the Assembly Head of the Financial Committee, Krishna Prasad Dahal, submitted a report on the tax leakage bill. This is all the affairs in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me Nirmala Basnet. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. During the high season, there is collection of 60,000 liters of milk, but now there is only 30,000 liters of milk. Each cooperative now has to run at least one farm. The Eastern Sugar Mill indicates that it has produced 1,60,076 quintal of sugar this year. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samrita Krishi, Nepal Kishan.